The World Consumer Rights Day was virtually observed in Nigeria with schools across the country being educated on the role of tackling plastic pollution. Federal Competitions and Consumer Protection Commission also reassured the public of its commitment to tackling consumer rights abuses in the country. Lara Folayo reports. It's another Consumer Rights Day, but this year's celebration is devoid of its usual outdoor consumer rights awareness campaign. The Consumer Rights Protection Authorities are observing the event indoors and interacting with participants virtually. The theme for this year's celebration is tackling plastic pollution and schools around the country are electronically connected to the session as they are being educated on their part in making this happen. An animal that delivered and in the long run had issues, health issues and uh, the uh, veterinary doctor found out that it had ingested also some plastic. We have seen turtles taking uh, plastics and uh, they become sick. Uh, ultimately, most of these marine lives, they are affected by plastic and they die. Plastic pollution remains a grave challenge in today's world. Consumers International, a membership organization for consumer groups around the world, believes this calls for an urgent need to mobilize businesses and governments in ensuring sustainable consumption is available to all. So this is a thing of concern and we must take a stand and do something tangible about it. As a commission, we can only push and that is exactly what we are doing. We are pushing and we make sure that there is legislation in that direction so that uh, Nigeria and the whole world becomes safer in the use of uh, such plastics. The Consumer Rights Day is set aside annually to create global awareness on consumer rights. The idea was first conceived by former American President John F. Kennedy in 1962. The United Nations approved the general guidelines for consumer protection in 1985 and the day has since been marked yearly on March 15th. The Consumer Rights Day not only targets changing government policies in favor of consumers, but also focuses on influencing consumer behavior positively as well. Lara Folayon, TVC News, Abuja.